Hi friends, this is Mangala Pratap and Murali Dharan talking from India. I'm going to talk to you about Explore the Spiritual Secrets. Why is it important for us to explore the spiritual secrets of the world? It's quite important to transform ourselves personally, socially and spiritually in order to evolve as a better human being on the earth. Does it happen all the time? It happens all the time, only when you have absolute faith in yourself. So you need to really think in terms of creating a new road map for yourself. How do you do it? You can do it with absolute alacrity. And I'm sure a majority of us who have been working for one's self-empowerment uh, might have really understood the very essence of uh, spiritual truths, which are being expressed in our legends, mythologies and spiritual literature available in all religions. It's very rare for people to get to know about it or explore about it. Why do they fail to explore? Maybe they are obsessed with materiality all the time. They are quite conscious of their mind and body, but they don't seem to be traveling beyond their mind and body towards understanding the soul and the spirit. Right? So for that you need to really have an extra thought spiritually or you know you have to be a seeker meditatively to understand the dimensions of life beyond just the social reality or the mental reality that we seem to be all the time talking about right so for this reason i would like to take a few examples from mahabharata the greatest epic of india mahabharata you would find the lord krishna who accompanies panja pandavas the five pandavas look at the story pandavas were almost paupers literally they were bereft of uh, their land power wealth and they were asked to stay in forests and their uh, you know living style was totally absorbed in the lord krishna for one reason they were behind the truth they were off the truth they live by the truth right they are nothing but truth so the truth was the shield and dharma or the righteousness was their weapon so the righteousness and truthfulness were the citadels of pandavas hence the lord krishna was with them even when they were so war between them and Gauravas. Gauravas had wealth, they had power, they had everything on the earth. They got right consultants, they had Vishma, they had Dronacharya on their side. Remember, with all these people, even Karna on their side, they could not. Karna happened to use Brahmastra during the war with uh, Pandipandavas. Please remember. Lord Krishna demonstrated to this particular episode of uh, Mahabharata that nothing, no weapon on the earth, whatsoever be the power of the person, can work against the devotees. That's an absolute truth, friends. And it is the truth and righteousness which can shield you on all occasions. That is the essence of life which we need to really work on. So we have to be aware of this. That is one of the reasons why Mahatma Gandhi was asked a question about the uniqueness of his philosophy of non-violence, ahimsa. He happened to say, truth is as old as the hills of our civilization. Please remember friends, it is nothing new for righteousness and truth, peace and love of this land are as old as the mountains or the rivers of this, of this Bharat, he said. Please remember that. And if you look at the life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will find the same. Christ the Messiah happened to say openly, all that is going to happen in his life, even when he was abandoned, literally, uh, as he was about to be crucified, even when he was being crucified, he didn't seek 
through the grace of God the Father, asking him to forgive those who were trying to crucify him. That is the absolute essence of formless love and grace. Friends, why I'm saying this? I'm saying this to make you understand all the religious literature we have on the earth, including Quran, for example. Somewhere in Quran, I, I often have heard people talking about this, and I remember the quote of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of uh, India. He once said, uh, uh, by quoting Quran, he said, I am responsible for what I do, you are responsible for what you do, as the words of God. Please remember, you are responsible for whatever you do, and God is responsible for whatever he does, or whatever she does. The God could be understood as a concept beyond the genders, human perception, human perception happens to be uh, compartmentalized, rationalized in gender-specific roles. And God is omnipresent, omnipotent, present everywhere on the earth in the form of energy, in the form of creation, in the form of the planet and the universe as such. There's no beginning and end to the Almighty. So friends, understand the infinite source of love, the infinite source of grace, in finite source of all that the world is, that is when we understand the boundless love of God. And I'm sure you can explore several spiritual secrets, including that of the great Buddha, or Mahavira of things. And you would, you would find innumerable episodes, innumerable episodes of spiritual secrets which you may discover on your own. Wish you all success. If you want to know more about me, you can visit me at www.poitmangalpragavan.blogspot.in And you can also yeah, subscribe to my newsletter available in LinkedIn by visiting Learning to Lead the World, a newsletter by Mangal Pragavan World Leader. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by typing Manja Pratabhan's YouTube channel. Wish you all success. If you want to know more about my webinars or seminars, visit me at www.fluencycenter.org that is F-L-U-E-N-C-Y-C-E-N-T-E-R.org Wish you all success. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you.